Hello Virgo, welcome to a love reading. This is going to be a you and them love reading where we're going to look at your energies, your person's energies, what's going on in the connection, and what are their next actions going to be towards you. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus watching. So if it does not resonate for you, then check out my playlist for Virgo. You can get to that by clicking on my username here and it'll take you to the home page and you can scroll down to see all of the playlists that I have. I have one for every sign so you can check out the Virgo playlist and see if there's anything that resonates for you there. All right, so let's get into this for Virgo. Let's start with what's going on in your connection for Virgo spirits, angels, guides. What messages do you have for, for Virgo regarding love? If I could regarding love. This is a reading for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind for Virgo. What is going on for Virgo in love? Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive is at the bottom of the deck love yourself first respect yourself first why am i getting these messages so basically the message that i just got was that um you are trying to um, I don't want to say you're trying to control the outcome of something, but it's like you have not been able to let something go. And in doing so, you are not loving yourself. We'll see what that's all about. Let's see what the energy is here. I'm using my brand new Stellar Energy Oracle. This is the physical version of my digital deck, which is already available in my shop. This one is not available. I honestly don't know if I want to sell it on my shop, but... For now, I'm going to be using it because I love it. So <laughs> tell me the energy spirit. What's the energy surrounding Virgos? What else can you tell me, spirit? What's going on in their connection? Second chances, rebirth, resurrection, and revival. You're being given a second chance. What else can you tell me about Virgos and their situations right now in love? What's the energy here, spirit? This one. Standing firm. Defense, resistance, courage. You're standing firm against any challenge. Okay, so there's opposition here. Um you're being brave about something or um, having courage defending yourself maybe you're dealing with someone who cannot let go of this connection or someone who's a bit on the controlling side we'll see what else we get with the tarot but it's almost like someone wants a second chance with you and you're like standing firm I have wedding bells at the bottom of the deck here so you could be married to someone or you're dealing with someone that is possibly married or in a long-term commitment here so let's see let's get into the tarot and get more information for virgo what is going on what is going on with their connection so this is what's going on in your connection right now between the energies that you both, both of your energies are here. I can't talk today. I don't know what's going on. Both of your energies are here. So this could be um, all about you, Virgo, or all about your person or any other parties surrounding you. This is what's going on right now. Tell me what is going on for Virgo. Two of Cups. Tell me more for Virgo. What is going on in love for Virgo? Five of Cups. Tell 
tell me more, Spirit. What's going on for Virgo? Ace of Wands. Very interesting. Attraction, passion with the Ace of Wands, Two of Cups. This is about a partnership, a soulmate, a person that you think about here. With the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Cups. So a new beginning that leads towards possibly emotional fulfillment, happy ending. So why is the Five of Cups here? Five of Cups is disappointment, regret, a loss. It's almost like someone's having a new beginning here, but someone's experiencing a loss because of that. Let's clarify. It's going to be a very interesting reading. Help me clarify spirit for Virgo. Nope. Two of Cups again. What is going on for Virgos in love? With the Four of Wands reverse. There's definitely like um, something off here with control issues, standing firm, um, the Wedding Bells card. This could be in regards to a long-term commitment that's not going very well, whether that's you or, or the person you're dealing with, Virgo. We'll see. We'll see when I clarify because I, I need to get more information. It's like you're resisting something that's not good for you or fighting back, standing firm. This is that standing firm card. Okay, that feels better. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? The full reverse, okay. Ah, two of wands. Okay. Oh my God, and I have the tower. I don't know how it fell if it flipped over. So I'm gonna kind of put it like that. So, wow, seven of swords reverse at the bottom. What's behind that? Strength reverse. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing, Virgo. You are the person you are dealing with. Because again, both of you are here. Um, whatever new beginning this is, it's going to take a, it's going to take courage. Um, it's going to be risky. There could even be a tower that falls here because someone's having a new beginning. You could cause this tower yourself. With the two of wands, it's like you're choosing a new path, seeing what else is out there, um, planning to see, you know, maybe planning about what your next step will be, what your future will be, what kind of life or path you want to go down, you know? With the two of wands in the full reverse, I'm seeing you, you know that the path ahead is going to be a risky one. Tell me about this tower. Why is the tower here? For Virgo, why is the tower here? Yeah, so you're t you're, this is an opportunity. You're, I feel like you're the one, you're possibly being given a second chance here. An opportunity has shown up or you are causing a tower here um, to make an offer to someone or to re maybe receiving an offer. Tell me more about the tower. Why is the tower here? The chariot reverse. So... Wow, and then I have judgment at the bottom. So I feel like this is going to be very a very slow going. With the chariot reverse, there could be cancer energy, by the way. There could be somebody that's trying to keep you or slow you down, like hold you back or slow you down here. I feel like you chose a completely new direction. Whoever is taking this opportunity, it's going to take them in a whole new direction. because they want a second chance. They, they, they're they looking at their past, evaluating the past, and it's like they're having a rebirth and awakening right now. This could be you or your person. I'm gonna stop saying this could be you or your person because I don't wanna confuse anybody. I'm gonna just say that this is your energy or the energy in your connection, Virgo. Feel free to 
you know, take it as it resonates for you. This could be all about your person. If that's the case, then that's how you take the reading. But I'm not going to keep repeating myself because I feel like I'm going to drive myself nuts. But um, let's see. What's this two of cups about? Five of pentacles reverse coming in out of the cold, recovering something that you've lost. Eight of cups and knight of wands. Okay. And then I have the six of cups reversed. So I feel like someone is returning. Yeah. And there's the two of cups again at the bottom. I feel like someone's returning to the past, making some sort of return here, coming home, coming back. And they're doing it quickly with the Knight of Wands. Like they, they want to have this recovery. They want to have the Two of Cups. They're going after their soulmate here. I feel like in order to do that, they had to maybe possibly break a commitment. There's the Moon and then, wow, yeah. And the Six of Swords. And the, yeah, this is a whole story here. <laughs> Someone's upset. Um, because I feel like if, if a commitment was broken, they weren't expecting it. Or perhaps they weren't expecting you to go after something else or leave or something like that. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Seven of Wands, again. Why is the Five of Cups here? Ten of Swords reverse. Why is the five of cups here? Tell me more about this five of cups. You are standing firm. This I see you fighting back, making decisions. Yeah, this was a tough decision, but you made it. You possibly already ended a cycle. King of Pentacles reverse. I want to get more cards, so just bear with me. Um, you possibly caused an ending or there are already was an ending here. There could be someone that doesn't want things to end with you, but I feel like you're standing firm. Um, I think you're going to, whoever's leaving a, a commitment or a home, there's going to be, yeah, it's like someone's forcing you to drag your feet or is affecting you financially. The cycle is taking a while to close. But I see you like fighting against this. Like it's not, it doesn't matter. Like you're still going to do what you need to do. Four of Wands reverse. So there's possibly instability in the home or you don't feel very stable. Um, there's probably drama going on right now uh, in your home life or with other people. But I feel like, um, tell me about this world reverse. I feel like you're fighting back because you want a second chance for yourself. You want a new cycle for yourself. Why is the world reverse? Well, hold on. Ten of Wands reverse, Two of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, you have decided to drop something here. And I feel this is causing drama. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. So let's see how you are feeling about your person. What are your energies right now? I'm going to use my energy oracle deck again. Spirit, tell me more about Virgo and their person. What are the energies they're bringing to this connection at this time? Tell me about Virgo's energy. What energy is Virgo bringing to this connection at this time? Yeah, a tower. So you're causing a tower, Virgo, is what I'm feeling, or you're going through a tower moment. Unexpected event, revelation, upheaval, endings. This is like my tower card. Unexpected or shocking events have shaken things up. I feel like that's you. <laughs> you have shaken things up. Tell me about Virgo's person. What are their energies at this time? Mirrored souls, soulmate energy. That's the two of cups again. Soulmate, mutual feelings, fate, your, your, hold on, I can't read. You mirror each other in this special connection. So uh, you feel the same way about each other. There's a soulmate energy here. Bottom of the deck, I have falling leaves, uh, changes, transition, time, 
time changes everything. Um, this could be somebody from your past. There could have been, there's a transition possibly that your relationship is going through. Um, but I feel like you are causing a tower over here. Now I have you on this side. I have your person on this other side here, but you can flip them if it resonates more for you. But to avoid confusion, this is Virgo. This is your person. Let's get more information. Tell me more about these energies. Tell me more about these energies between Virgo and their person. Tell me about Virgo's energies, please. Oh, oh that was... Yeah, look at this. The bear and the nightingale. The bear is all about a new beginning. And the nightingale is about speaking up. Uh, you know, speaking up for yourself or singing that song that you've been keeping to yourself. Having something to say, to express. I feel like this is you. You are clamoring for a new beginning, a new cycle. And that's why this tower is taking place. I feel like you've surprised people with your actions or your decisions. Tell me about Virgo's person. Hold on, that was sloppy. Tell me about Virgo's person. What are their, my cards don't want to stay in my hand. Tell me about Virgo's person. What are, I don't know what's going on. Okay, hawk and beaver. Oh, beaver, so cute. Very loyal energy, the beaver. This is someone who's very family oriented, dependable, hardworking. This could be the person that you are interested in. They have these energies or they see you in this way. Um, the hawk. Hmm. I'm going to look at that one because I always confuse the hawk with the eagle. <laughs> I think this one's the one about um, seeing things from a different yeah, this is the seer. So the sharp eye of the hawk watch our every move. They have the ability to see the, every little detail as well as a bigger picture. They have their eye on you and their winds are shifting. The hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. So a spiritual message possibly, but what I'm getting here, it's like this person has been loyal to you this whole time. If I don't feel this is the person you're with right now. I think this is the person you want to be with. And I feel like they've been observing. Um, they've probably been um, waiting for a message or wanting to tell you something and they haven't as well. So let's see, get some information about how you are viewing each other here. Tell me more about how Virgo and this person are viewing each other or this connection. Tell me more about these energies, please, Spirit. For Virgo. Tell me about Virgo's energies, please. What are they thinking or feeling towards this person, towards this connection? Oh, I got two. Death card, beautiful. This, yeah, you are having a change, endings in your life. Cycles are ending for you. This is Scorpio energy. What's this? Three of Wands reversed. So I feel like some of you are afraid to miss an opportunity. Perhaps you are, ooh, this is the, allow the situation to unfold naturally. This right here is frustration and patience. Be very careful that you are not becoming impatient because that could cause you to make mistakes here. Things are very slow. Um, perhaps you're becoming frustrated at how slow things are unfolding or how the drama that's happening, whatever the case may be. Um, changes take time, especially big changes like this. I'm, I'm picking up that this is a huge change for you. Tell me about Virgo's person. What are their energies? Queen of Cups reverse. Tell me about Virgo's person. What are their energies? Interesting. The Lovers reverse. Gemini energy. Why? Hmm. Why? Okay, so 
I'm getting here that you and this person separated in the past and they've never been over you. They're actually wondering if you've changed your mind about the connection. I feel like you're not talking to this person or the communication is not the best. And it's almost like this person is starting to give up on the idea of you being together. This person sees you as their soulmate. However, they've been watching you and it's like they, they have to watch you because there's no action here or nothing happening right now. I feel with the Page of Swords reverse and the Page of Coin reverse, they've been waiting for communication or for an offer and it hasn't come. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords reverse. Yeah, <laughs> Temperance. It, they've been patiently waiting is what I'm seeing here. They've been wondering if this is going to come together. Tell me more about the Page of Swords reverse with this Page of Coin reverse. Sagittarius energy with the Temperance card. Yeah, I, I, I'm picking up. It's almost like maybe they haven't told you something or um, you're not talking. Strength reverse, Leo energy. Maybe they don't have the courage to talk to you. Maybe they're waiting for you. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm getting a different message now. Okay, I'm getting a different message now. Virgo, I think this is the person that you are leaving. They, they are still, yeah, I think this is the person that you are leaving. They could have um, Sagittarius in their chart, Gemini in their chart, um, Leo in their chart. It does not have to be, but I feel like this person, you broke up with this person, they're heartbroken and they're hoping you'll change your mind. I feel like you probably cut them off or you're not talking to them or dealing with them like you were. This person, I feel like you're having verbal conflict with them and they're hoping to still make this work. They're begging for a second chance and they're watching you and, and like hoping that you will be this beaver, like you will be loyal to them and dependable like you've always been. I don't think that's happening though. With the Ace of Swords reverse, the Ace of Pentacles reverse, like you are still... Like, they're waiting for something that is never going to happen, I feel. I think this person, they're probably suffering financially. Wow, what a weird... Tell me if this is the case in the comments. Are you um, separating from someone or did you separate from someone in the past? I feel like this is the person that you are leaving or the person that was left. This is the person that was left, I feel. And I don't think they're doing well. I have the Empress reverse here. I have the Hermit reverse. There you are, Virgo. I feel like you've ghosted them. You separated yourself from them and they're not happy about it. So let's see. What are this what are their next actions going to be towards Virgo or this connection? What's happening next here? What's gonna happen next here? For Virgo, what's going to happen next here? Ten of Pentacles, wow. What's going to happen next here for Virgo? King of Wands. What's going to happen next for Virgo? Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, there's the Ace of Pentacles reversed again. Behind that, the Knight of Wands reverse. And behind that, the Five of Wands reverse. Basically, I feel like, um, I don't know I don't know why the Knight of Wands reverse is here, but basically what I'm seeing is like, you're not going to be going back. Um, I see this as you just wanting the conflict to be over. The loss is still going to be there. The, the commitment is still going to be broken. You're still going to go after something here. Someone's still going to go after what they want. And I feel like they're going to break someone's heart. They're going to disappoint someone with the Knight of Cups reverse. 
because I feel like someone's waiting for that Knight of Cups to be upright, like an apology or an expression of love, but it's not coming. It's that's how what I'm that's what I'm feeling. I'm I see you standing firm. I see someone if this isn't you as your person, but I'm I'm thinking this is you standing firm despite the the drama and the conflict. Because you are focused on a new cycle. Um, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for continuing to support the channel. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.